Hey everyone, this is Quiet Gamer here, and I'm back with part 5 of my Let's Replay of the Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage remake. Now, you may be wondering why I'm back at Aquaria Towers. Well, it's because there's an area that I missed, and uh, Sam said in the comments uh, on my last part, I'd be kicking myself for missing this um, this little area, or big area that I missed in the Aquaria Towers. And you're absolutely right. So without further ado, let's find out the reason why I was kicking myself. So here we go. So, it's up here. This is where the secret entrance was. Right up here. How? I did not notice this before. I don't know. And hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. So a little bit loud in my headphones there. And here's where I'll find the rest of the gems, most likely. The funny thing is, when I was actually redoing this level again to get all the water to rise up, I actually ended up finding another green gem. Uh, so I ended up getting uh, two extra treasure off screen. So that's a bit unfortunate that I ended up getting some treasure off screen without uh, showing you it, but um, these things happen unfortunately. Before we get the orbs, I just want to like uh, just explore the rest of this area here, so that way I know my surroundings. Um, uh, I'm very familiar with my uh, surroundings. Now this seaweed, I believe, um, from what I've seen on the pl uh, walkthrough, this is for um, for uh, skill points. But again, I'm not that good enough for the game, I think, to get enough skill points. I did, those skill points I got in that uh, hockey match, um, back on the Horikos, I think, um, that was uh, down to pure luck, and pure luck, I think. Oh, there's more uh, jars to break here. We'll go and get them. Oh, there's a few more uh, gems across here to collect. I think I maybe need to stop messing a bit with the camera so much. But again, these underwater levels, I can't help but mess around with the camera a lot because um, it helps me, like, well, I was going to say it helps me get used to the underwater surroundings, but not really. Right, let me just see. How much treasure have I collected now? 70 more to go. I don't know where the hell that is. I'm guessing it's within these towers somewhere. I think. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there's extra jars up here. Yeah, I'm getting the treasure first, so that way this is over and done with. Oh, wow. 25 treasure as well. 35. So I'm halfway there to getting all the treasure. I think. Yep, another 35 to go. Except I don't know where the rest of the treasure is. Um, could be in here, possibly? Nah, I doubt it. Nah, I don't think so. Right, okay. Oh, here's some more. On these uh, ledges here. Oh, are we nearly done with all the treasure? Um, how much more have we got? Ten more to go. We'll keep swimming above here find uh, more of the, the treasure here. I feel like there's something shining over there that I'm missing, unless if I'm, that's just me and my eyes uh, uh, um, being misled. The water workers oh, have this? kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. And I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. You can make it to the top of the six numbered towers. My children will be safe. Right, so reach the top of the towers. Each tower will open in order. All right, fair enough. Let's um, go up top of here. Oh, crap. Of course, electricity. That's why this is going to be difficult. It's not going to be that easy, unfortunately. It was rated four, ranked four stars for a reason. So now we're going into the second tower, which is right here. Okay, just wait for that electricity to turn off. Yes, there we go. Now we're going to go back down to where we were before and then to that third tower. I was wondering why those towers were marked with the numbers, but now I know why. I can't exactly remember where the rest... No, I don't, I don't actually know where the rest of the treasure for this level is. So this could be a mystery on our hands, folks. 
Oh, is that just an enemy here? Huh, that seemed easier than uh, getting past electricity. I would have thought there'd be a combination of both the, um, the electricity and the enemies as well to make this even harder, but I guess not. Fair enough. I think number four is right here. Unless if I... I'm getting lost, aren't I? Yeah, I'm, I'm completely lost. Hold on. Let me go back. Aquaria Terrace. If there's something I have to say about this level, it's it's a brilliant looking level, don't get me wrong, but it's very easy, in my opinion, to get lost in it, if, especially for someone who hasn't played Spider anywhere near, near as much as I have. And so I've been up there, haven't I? I think. Wait, so that's Tower number four, isn't it? Unless if that was Tower three. Oh no, this is Tower four, right. And now I'm getting my towers mixed up. Right, up we go, and rescue him. Good stuff, right. So far this doesn't seem too difficult. It's only just a matter of just avoiding the electricity at the right time and uh, looking out for any um, possible enemies, like that crab for example. There's a huge tower number... No, tower number five is... Yeah, I think it's... Oh, it's right here. I see it. I think. Those of you who, who are big Spire fans must be wondering, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I don't blame you for thinking that way. Oh, yeah, but there's a second bout of electricity as well. Alright, final tower. First of all, though, we've got to get rid of these enemies. Or get rid of one of them, anyway. And I think the last tower is above here somewhere. No, it's not. Oh, crap. Um, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was down here. And then across here and up this way. Unless, again, if I'm wrong on this. We'll take the, uh, oh, crap. No, I don't want to jump. Hold on. Back in we go. Because, uh... Again, I don't know if I'm following the right path to Tower 6. Unless... Do you know what? Screw the uh, the submarine. That's just going to take up way too much time. Just forget that. I know it's to get past those sharks, but... Alright, do you know what? Let's, let's go and take it. It's probably the sensible thing to do, to be honest with you. With regards to getting past the, the sharks and everything, it's... I mean, even though I defeated them before and got the trophy last part for it, it's better to maybe use a bit more common sense and uh, sense sensibility in getting past these sharks. Uh, money bags are not after your gems. Yes, I'm going on there right now. It's just so I can get past these uh, sharks here. Now you probably know it's been a while since I've actually uploaded anything and recorded anything and that's because I've still been kind of uh, thinking about like, you know, if everything's still going on, I've still been trying not to get, let all the COVID stuff get to me a little bit, but unfortunately it's, it's still really difficult, unfortunately. Anyway, here's our last tower and oh, this one's moving. Oh crap. Okay, fair enough. It's fine, I'll take the hit. Just to get this last uh, seahorse. You did it! Now we can swim in peace! I heard that you're collecting orbs. Please, take this one. Oh yes, please. Thank you very much. Alright. That's one orb collected. Now we just need to find the other two orbs, which I believe um, Hunter is here to challenge me to... Well, I wouldn't necessarily say a race, but I think it's like a challenge of some sorts. Yes, trying to tame here's what he's saying here. Yeah. Array, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Yeah, of course, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, have a... Come on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. I right, so right, the man to wait for the course. Oh, crap. Okay, this is going to take a while to navigate this. Uh... 
the hell? Oh my god. Okay, how the hell did I manage to get through that unscathed? The camera here is a little bit awkward than this. Uh, is it just me? Well done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. I honestly don't think I deserve that orb after that horrible um, guidance that I gave that manta ray there. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Yeah, of course, okay. yeah. Good luck. I would need a hunter, especially after the horrible... Right, so i just got to follow the seahorse. That's all i got to do. I thought it was following hunter for some reason, but no. Um, I think I was more used to the... Uh... Oh, shoot. What the hell? Oh my god. Some very tight corners here. Uh, oh my... Uh, okay, I got lost. Okay. Yeah, it is a pretty wild ride. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, there's a lot of tight corners for this, that's what's going to make this much more difficult. Honestly, see when I'm riding this Manta Ray, it really reminds me of like, uh, oh, shoot. Um, it reminds me of like the uh, Manta Ray uh, tech demo from the PS1 demo discs, I don't know if anybody remembers that. Like, I remember covering the demo discs a long time ago on my channel, and uh, oh, jeez, yeah, I'm not following the... I'm not following the right path here, but I remember covering the demo discs a long time ago on my channel, and I never really covered all of them, as well as the PS2 uh, demo discs. Okay, so, I've got to go through that one, and then, where's the... Aha! There is... Oh, shoot! Where's that? Okay, right, it was there. Okay. And then, through here, and then through here. What the hell is this taking me? Is this all going all the way around the tower? Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, right, okay, that was good. Holy crap. You've got real talent. I can use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Alright, thanks, Hunter. I appreciate that. So that's the second orb found. Right, now I just need to find the last ten treasures. Alright guys, I'm back. Right, sorry about that. I had to cut out an awful lot of this video because I tried hunting high and low for these last 10 gems and for the life of me I cannot find them. So I'm going to actually exit the level. Um, unfortunately, I'm, it's such a damn shame that I came to a really hard decision. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave this level for now. Because I'm really having a hard time finding these last 10 gems and honestly, it's not worth the stress right now trying to find them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I believe, I think it's a boss battle coming up next, I'm not sure. Maybe it might be because I think we've gone through all the levels now in uh, Summer Forest. And if it is what I think it is, if it is a boss battle coming up, then I'm definitely going to do it for this part. And uh, then we'll go to the uh, the next world and end off the part there. So uh, let's see... I'm not sure exactly where to go next, though, for this boss battle. That's the thing. I saw something shiny at the top. Okay, right. I can't go there yet. Hold on. I maybe uh, go back to where I was, possibly. Like at the beginning. If I maybe uh, swim back through this area. And, uh, is there any gems I missed on this bit? No, I don't think so, right. Fair enough. Right. I think... I think I managed to collect everything, didn't I, in it? So I've got the talisman there. I've got all the talismans for there. Yeah, I've got all the talismans there. But it's a matter of, you know, where to go next. Maybe I should go back through here, actually. I thought maybe I was going the wrong way, but maybe I am going the right way. Possibly. Yeah, so I can't climb yet, because I need to learn how to do that. Hold on. If I open this door here, go through this area.
if I open this one, where would that lead me to then? If I go through... Ah! Okay, this could be where Gulp is. I think this is our first boss. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Alright, I think we're heading into our first boss battle. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new super portal technology. There! That's the last door in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Dragons? Wonderful! Crash! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king! Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! You idiot! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't you say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Oh, okay we're, in, we're, okay, we're facing Crash, right, okay. My apologies, I thought we were facing Gulp first, but um, my, I was mistaken. So, yeah, that shows you how long ago it's been since I played Spyro 2. I'm I've mistaken the bosses now. <laughs> so it's now it's time to take on Crush. So what we've got to do here is, I believe... Oh yeah, oh god, right, okay, now I'm seeing what I need to do. I need to avoid the uh, wave patterns here. Yeah, like that, for example, and jump over there, and he should have a weak spot at some point soon. I think. And jump over them. Okay, that doesn't work. And then jump over them. Right, okay, that seems to work. Oh god, I think I just made him mad. Okay, right, okay, the parts of the ceiling fall on right, okay. I think I see what I need to do. So if I do this, and then this again, and then play them again, and then here another hit point will happen. Yeah, so you'll get hit again. Oh yeah, it's changing up, but it's orange now, so what's going to happen? Oh crap, okay, that's what happens, right, okay, a flaming attack will come right at me. Okay, run away. Run away again. No! Oh, did I hit him just in time? Yes, I think I did. Sweet. So you should uh, go for the second attack anyway. Do you know what? Kind of what? Oh, do you know it's too late. I was gonna get that sheep, but never mind. Too late. Right, get him again. Just, oh god, he's now chasing right after me. <laughs> Crap. Okay. This reminds me of pandemonium. Stop it. Oh my god. 
that, that reminds me of uh, the good honcho boss from Pandemonium right now, so he's changed the blue, so I'm going to have to jump over this again. And he'll... Oh, there's a three times, right, okay. Oh wait, no, some of them are blue and orange, right, okay. He'll probably do this three times, yeah, I thought so, right. Now if I flame him again, oh, he's protected, goddammit. So he should go to this one, yeah. Now I can flame him easily. Right, there we go. Oh, crap, he's chasing me again. Well, you can't crush me, Crush, you're too slow. If you have a glass of Crusher, maybe then you can crush me. Anyone remember that? I don't know if that's still a thing, actually, if that's still a product that exists nowadays. I don't think he's like the fact that I made fun of his name. This seems like a very easy boss, honestly. I mean, yes, I got hit a couple of times. But honestly, it really doesn't seem like it's that hard of a boss, honestly. I'm just uh, not um, catching up to him that much. Oh, okay, now he's changing positions, right? Okay, come get me. Too slow, Crush. You're too slow. Come on, eventually you're going to stop chasing me. There, there we go. One more hit point left. What's he going to do? Oh, I think he's mad. Alright, two, three, alright. Oh, damn, that was too slow. Okay. Two, three, right. And he's coming back to that one. Right, yeah. Yeah, he'll chase me again. Yeah, I think we're done with this boss. Pretty easy boss, honestly. It's not too hard. Yeah, I ended up getting hit a few times, but honestly, other than that, it was not too hard at all. Come on, you've got to stop chasing me at some point. You can't outrun me. You can't run from me for... Uh, Come on, you're going to try and hit me. Come on, live up to your name. Finally. There. It's about time. Jeez. Now, crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Golf, come here now! Destroy him, and make sure it's painful! What? Go! Get me out of here! So long, dragon! What a wuss! Crush has been defeated. Eventually. Honestly, I thought he was going to chase me forever on that final hit. I was like, I was thinking to myself, come on, Crush, surely you've got to live up to your name and try and, you know, try and squat or crush me with your club. But no, he just kept on chasing me all the time. I guess he really took that personally when I when I insulted his name by making a pun with that Crusher uh, milkshake drink. <laughs> yeah, I know. That seems like a very vintage um, product, doesn't it? Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! <laughs> Oh, money bags. You know, I hate Ripto, but I also hate... I, I don't know whether they hate money bags or Ripto more, honestly. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be broke. Hi. <laughs> well, do you know what? What I'll do is I'll collect some of the treasures surrounding the home world first, because I think this is the Autumn Plains world. Yes, it is. The Autumn Plains world. We'll collect a few of the treasure here. And I believe our first level in here is the Crystal Glaciers. Or the Crystal Glacier, should I say. Um, and we'll find a save point 
and then once I've had my progress saved, then we will um, we'll end off this part because I, th I think I've recorded this for long enough, to be honest with you. As a matter of fact, how many gems are in this home world anyway? Oh, 400. Oh, wow. There's quite a lot of them, actually. I hope I get the abil ability to learn to climb soon. Oh, there's a lot of wood that she has to say. Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Oh, right, okay. So I've collected enough orbs to go up here. Where does this take me then? Oh, wow, I've already accessed the speedway from all the uh, the orbs I've collected. Nice. Alright, well, let's see if I can find... I'm trying to find a fairy here so I can save my progress. I'm not seeing her anywhere. That's a bit concerning. Ah, here's the ability where I'm going to be able to win the climb rate. How much is this going to cost me, money well, bags? Well. I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, oh, I don't know, a small fee. What's a small fee we're talking about? 500. Oh, yeah, why not? That's fine. You won't regret it. Okay. When you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the left stick to move up and down. Press the jump button again to leap off. You can also jump sideways onto another climbable area. Well, thank you, money bags, for that. Well, I've technically now had my progress saved, but by god that's cost me a lot of gems there. But you know what? It's worth it to learn how to climb. We'll get up to the top of here, and uh, oh, here's another one here to practice our climbing skills. Come on, we get to the top of here. What's up here? Ah, it's another one. Scorch. Another level to access. Okay, we got another life from that. That's pretty good. Oh, and another one. Fracture Hills. Okay, it seems like... How much gems have we collected? Wow, okay, 117. So we're nearly... Well, well, not even near halfway, but like... Uh, I can't believe I've collected that many gems already, and I'm still trying to find... Still trying to find a fairy to save my progress at. Hang on, what's this one? Ah, we can use this to travel to Summer Forest, but we can't quite go there yet, I don't think. Because we need more orbs, don't we? Oh no, we can travel there, right, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I was under the... I was under the impression I didn't have enough orbs to travel back there yet. Honestly, it feels like I'm just, you know, just rediscovering this game all over again. It really does. Like, I mean, this might, like, you know, it... I said before, like in some parts, and I don't know if I've said this before, but it will definitely um, bring a fresh perspective to this let's play, because it feels like a blind let's play to a degree, even though it kind of isn't. Like, I mean, I've I've beaten this game before once, but that was a long time ago. All right, back we go in the open plains then. Once I get back there, I think it'll always save anyway, and I think I'll end off this part, because as I said before, this has gone on for quite a long time now. <laughs> but yeah, it will bring a fresh perspective to the Let's Play, which is quite good. You know, fresh perspectives in Let's Plays can be quite good, I think. Especially, like, you know, for uh, facing off against the boss, like, uh, Crush earlier. Like... Honestly, I thought I was facing off against Gulp at first, but no, it was Crush. Then again, though, I should have expected Crush to be the first boss, but considering he, uh, he's not exactly the smartest when it comes to the, the brains of uh, Ripto and his gang. Out of uh, Ripto and Gulp. Actually, as a matter of fact, let me just uh, go up here. Oh, what's this? Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also ha Another... Thanks for the... Alright, fair enough. Another portal to... Yes, I know. Yeah. 
I'm not even listening to you anymore, Moneybags. You're taking enough of my gems. I'm not listening to you anymore. Uh, let's see. Where is uh Oh, there's some gems underwater here, yeah. I figured there might have been, considering I can swim in there, I think, of course, from earlier. Right, there has to be a ferry or somewhere that I can save my progress at. Just press the jump button to climb up faster. That's going to be the only way to actually get there faster, is just to jump more. There we go. Right. I thought I heard a fairy there, unless if it was uh, Sparks. Yeah, it's probably Sparks. Well, do you know what? I think it will have saved automatically anyway, so do you know what? We'll end it off just now, so... Um, Thank you all very much for watching. This has been Let's Play uh, Spyro 2 Ripto's Re Rage Remake Part 5. This part has gone on for quite a long time, but um, feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below as well for your thoughts, and feel free to hit the subscribe button for more content coming up in the future as well. So until then, everybody, this is Kinda Game here signing off, and I shall see you all again next time for when I come back with uh, Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's, Remake, uh, Ripto's Rage Remake Part 6. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again soon. Till then, goodbye.